God. This is a big issue. I mean, the suspension maybe not quite as much, but the gearbox. 21 seconds. We would take 43 seconds for the stop instead of 14. Alright guys, hello and welcome back to another episode of Motorsport Manager. With me, Spacefish, still in the middle of our uh, second Grand Prix of the season in Munich. Um, currently, apparently on the second spot, but uh, that's before uh, the next pit stop, which is just about to come up. And looking at this, I think we have a slight small issue. Because our driver only has 0.57 laps of fuel left. And this lap is definitely... Uh, Got more than uh, point five. Yeah, I mean he just started into the lap, so I'm I'm kind of worried here. Uh, not gonna lie, I'm yeah. I I don't think we're gonna make it back before running out of fuel. Um, so I think the mechanic of the game overall was that you would limp back to uh, the pit stop, so not like have to stand still on the track or something, but. That's a bit of an issue, because uh, it, it will definitely cost us time, but if you guys remember from the last episode, we were trying for these two different strategies with Anthony going for two stops pretty much, and uh, Gomez going for three stops, and looking at the water on track, I think we kind of need a plan here, because uh, it is starting to dry up, but not quite as quickly as we wanted to. Then again, we already sent Anthony out on softs as well, Wait. Well, everybody else has gone for intermediates. So looking at the water on track, I think like this round and the next one will probably be slower still than the others. But afterwards, I think uh, proper like uh, dry weather tire strategy will probably pay off. So I think we're going to go for somewhat of the same idea here with Gomez. The only, the only issue being um, with him. Oh, yeah. So bit of an issue here. Because we have, I'm pretty sure we have had him on a low fuel strategy all this time now. And we're at 14 laps? So we would have to limp for two laps to... Okay, we're going to try it. We're going to try and get him there. Ah, but I'm, I'm honestly kind of not too confident we're going to be able to make it. So let's see how this is going to uh, play out. Part conditions are good, so that's definitely great. I'm going to give him a balanced pit stop. And then uh, we're just going to go with the lowest strategy as possible and somehow try and get the tires and the fuel through this long stint. Which, I'm saying it now, I think the likeness is pretty low, but uh, we will try. We will try, and uh, if not, we still have Anthony, so pretty risky strategy here, but let's see how that plays out. Let's see if we can actually pull it off or not. And uh, with that said, I think, uh, well, back we go. Let's keep going. He, he's obviously, uh, these guys get catching up to him like mad, which is crazy, because I think they have not had a pit stop yet either, potentially. It looks like they're still on the first uh, set of tyres, so that's pretty interesting. Also, what we need to check out here real quick with Anthony. Um, Anthony definitely needs another uh, pit stop. And I uh, got fuel for another 10.63 laps, just crossed the um, start-finish line. So it would mean like another pit stop at like lap 14. Well, with this strategy, uh, well, 24 rather, with this strategy, maybe like 23. So the question is, is that even a possibility, given the amount of tire use? And my answer is, I don't think so. What I think we should do for the time being, though, is I'm going to put the tire strategy to neutral, or actually maybe conserve, because I don't want to have her push too hard in this kind of weather. Does does just does not make much of any sense. So we'll try and conserve the tires till the weather clears up a bit, and we'll have the actual advantage with the tires, and that's when we'll use those a bit more. And for the engine strategy, we'll just try and use that a bit better, the fuel. I think we'll have a few laps where we're definitely going to be pushing. Oh, he's out of fuel. Yeah, ha, great. So, yeah, you can see him limping back. But we nearly made it. We nearly made it. So that's not too bad, I wouldn't say. Um, still, uh, we are going to be having a few laps where we're going to be a bit more pushy here with our fuel strategy. But, uh, well... Definitely not just yet, more when the weather clears up. He's going to be switching tyres, so hopefully everything goes fine just here. 
here are looking, looking pretty good, so that's great. Definitely going to lower his strategy all the way down when he comes out. Perfect. And what's his tie attempts? His tie attempts are still average. So I'm going to try and monitor his tie attempts a bit and kind of swap between like backup and conserve strategies for that. And then fuel is going to stay all the way down all the time anyways. Now um, let's speed this up a bit because I'm hoping that as this track becomes a bit drier, we will have a good bit of an advantage right here. So let's see how we can do here. I'm going to... I think I'm going to wait till like next-ish lap and then I'll up the strategies for Anthony pretty much. That's kind of the plan here, I think. And then we'll try and kind of match. Like he will just like, we won't have to worry about him. Let's actually swap to Anthony. We won't have to worry about Gomez much at all, I don't think. Because he'll just be going all the way through with like uh, the strategy. Maybe just upping that a bit to keep the tire temperature somewhere in a good region. Um, but yeah, like the main focus should be Anthony now, just like to kind of try and match up the fuel use with the tire use. Okay, let's check this out. So I think we used about, I think we used about like 25-ish percent tire, right? In uh, the time that we used three laps of fuel and my phone is not, god damn it. Seriously, all the time guys, all the time I'm telling you, I'm really sorry for that. Um, so... Wouldn't be a space I should do without my phone just interfering, would it? <laughs> okay. Um, so I think we use about three rounds, f uh, three laps of fuel. I've got like... So we got like another six laps of tie in this, but another 7.38 laps of fuel. Hmm. So I would be... Okay, so when we are pushing a bit more, which I think we should start doing... Actually, I mean, the question is, with these tires, can we even push more? Well, I think we should put it back to neutral just to get some temperature back in the tires. Um, but like, if we if we're going like six-ish laps with the tires right now, that will get us to twenty-three laps, and then okay. Well, one way or another, I'm gonna take her to overtake, and uh, then that's gonna be it. I'm gonna get him to neutral as well to get the tire temperatures back a bit more higher up. I mean, like. The the, uh, the wetness on track that's still there obviously doesn't really help with tire temps either. So, um, it's kind of a bit of a factor right there. But other than that, um, okay. Intermediate guy is still setting the fastest pace, apparently. Which should change soon, because, like, look at the, look at the wetness on track. We should... Yeah, your temperatures are getting low, okay. I think we're going to get you back to conserve and you get... Mac to conserve as well. It's just like the track is not, um, the track is not dry enough just yet. That's just like the main issue here. I I hope that Anthony's strategy will pay off a bit though, because like these guys are still using their inters, and they're still uh, setting the fastest lap times. Which I would like to see what kind of lap times we are setting right now, and I'm actually not quite sure. Um, parts look a bit dodgy. That's not great. Oh God. Okay. Let's hope that that will actually work out. Um, okay, so these guys are switching to mediums now. They're going to finish it on one stint. And I'm, I'm like, okay, I think these must be from like the front of uh, the whole field because like I, I couldn't imagine that I'm like in the middle of them right now with Gomez after two stops. That would be a bit weird, I think. We lost a bit of time there, but like not that much, I don't think. So, uh, let me get back to high. Let me check out how many laps we got right here. So, 20th lap. Oh, 11th spot. So, that's kind of nice. Uh, 20th lap with Anthony. We have got 3.27 laps in fuel remaining. So, I would say about three laps there. And I think we should be able to carry the tyres over another three laps too, which would mean we would go in in the 23rd lap, which is kind of a bit late, isn't it? I mean, we could be pushing a bit more, but it's like six laps remaining at that point, and everybody's on softs already now. Hmm. Okay, I think let's roll with that anyways. Let's just see how that's going to work out for us. He is on 76% tires. Which means... When did we get him in? Is there like some pit history or something somewhere? Tire history. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so on the 14th lap... No, wait. Okay, so the mediums are out for five laps so far. 
and we use 25%. So like saying that we have another nine laps, we would end up at like 25-ish percent, which is kind of good because like at 25-ish percent, the tires start falling off very hard. So I think like his tire use strategy is pretty nice. I never knew this screen was actually a thing. That's super useful. Anthony, seven laps with soft so far, 40% left. So, uh, well, using about like, what? Eight ish percent, maybe every lap. So, okay, that would mean we would be at. Oh, I mean, we would be at 24% in the 22nd lap, wouldn't it? So, we maybe want to get her in in the 22nd lap then, which will mean nine, nine laps. So, we would be perfectly fine to go till the end with uh, tires, even on a more pushy strategy. So if we wanted to get her in in two laps, though, I think we need to get this back up to overtake. So in the 22nd lap, then. Wait, actually, though, that will mean... Where are we at right now? We're halfway over the track, so um, we would need fuel for another two and a half... Okay, let's not push just yet, just to make sure that we'll have enough fuel. Because um, obviously we need to finish the lap as well, when, if we want to get her in in the 22nd lap. So, gonna keep this rolling at two times the speed then, just kinda try and monitor what we're doing right here. Nine laps remaining, yes, I am aware. Um, hmm. Other than that, I'm, I'm really interested to see where Anthony's gonna end up. For Gomez, it's kinda just... Uh, for Gomez, it's just kinda hard to predict right now, just kinda depending on how many people he's gonna overtake that are gonna be in box and how many people he can keep behind him with, like, the strategy that he's on. And, like, hoping that he's not going to run out of fuel, which we will have to check in a second. Condition is really bad, apparently, for Anthony, which is a big issue. I think we'll need to take some quick repairs while she's in the box, which... Oh, I'm really not a fan of that, I'll have to say, but what do, what do. So, she is going to enter the 22nd lap now. And that was not the right button this one is. So, we've got fuel for another one lap. So, uh, kind of just right there with the fuel. A good thing we didn't uh, go any more pushy. And tires are at 28%, so I'm gonna I'm gonna just say attack for the tires. Just push everything you got out of these tires, pretty much. And uh, then we are gonna go pit. We're gonna go new softs and fuel, 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 fuel. So we're gonna go in at the end of the 22nd lap, which means we are gonna start the 23rd. So it's uh, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th. So it's uh, another seven laps to go um, when she comes out. But I am going to overfuel slightly, I think. Now, what's always the thing with this game that I don't quite understand is if I get this up to seven laps, when she comes out of the box, it's going to be eight. So not quite sure about that one, but I think I would want... 8 laps of fuel thus, she'll come out with 9, and that means we should have enough to just boost the engine all the way through, pretty much. Then we've got these parts, and we, uh... God. This is a big issue. I mean, the suspension, maybe not quite as much, but the gearbox. 21 seconds. We would take 43 seconds for the stop, instead of 14. I mean, this would literally just add two seconds to it, right? Ah, oh, the gearbox, guys. The gearbox. I mean, that's so much time. That I... I'm, I'm not sure I would be able to carry it all the way through, especially if we want to boost the engine all the way through. But, like, seven laps, that, that gearbox with 20% is not going to last us another seven laps, I don't think. So we will probably not really have much of a choice. Let's try fast. It's a 30% risk, which is kind of... Kind of a pain. But I think we've that's like the only choice we've got to kind of try and at least somehow get Anthony into a favorable spot. And Gomez is at the 15th spot, so that's not too great. Uh, we would want at least... The 13th spot for our sponsor goal, so I guess we are going to be relying on Anthony more than I would like right there. Um, fuel looks like it's just about going to be enough. And, uh, whoa. Huh. Yep, just about. And in we go. And this is going to be an uh, interesting one. We're definitely going to end up very, very far back and look at all this repair time. Oh, God. Ah, uh, we're all the way at the back of the field. This is not going to be great. 
This repair time's just killing us right now. Like, look at where we are on the map right now. This is not going to work out nicely, is it? Okay, I'm going to just send her to push it all the way. Um, maybe, like, push on the ties just to not overheat them too hard. But other than that, there's not really much we can do right here. I was kind of hoping for a somewhat good race, but this is not too promising right now. I... Uh, would like to think I was going kind of alright on the tire strategy there, but... Uh, Anthony, I mean... I think a big part of that just was that we needed to actually repair... Like, Madman there. Like, 46 seconds instead of like 14 due to repair. Such a big issue. I mean, that's... Uh, cost us 30 seconds and I mean look at that if it wouldn't have cost us like I mean I think it was even like 35 40 ish seconds wasn't it it's like if it wouldn't have cost us that time it would be somewhere like 18th 17th uh, spot right now which would not be too great either right but we would be on softs and like all this field is on half one of medium so we would have been pretty good I think to kind of overtake these guys, but like the gearbox issues just kind of wrecked us a bit right there. So um, not really too many decisions to make here. I'm going to just fast forward this a bit more and we're going to hope to get at least some spots. But I mean, look at this. I don't think this is going to be a possibility. Gomez on the other hand side. He's on the 15th spot right now, which means he would need to overtake another two guys. Just not quite sure that's actually going to happen. And I'm also not quite sure. Where's he even at? 1.66 laps. It's going to go into the 28th with 1.5 laps of fuel. It's going to be a very close one for him to not run out of fuel. Um, he just overtook... Wait a second. He just overtook to the 14th spot, though. Which is great. Oh, yeah. That guy has got issues with uh, with his car. Let's pay some more attention to Gomez then. Because Anthony, I kind of have lost all the hope for looking at how far she's back after that repair. But look at this. This is not too bad. Let's get our tire strategy on attack because we've got quite a bit of tires still left. Um, fuel, though. Oh, no. Yeah, and this is going to wreck it, isn't it? I mean, we're not going to get the 13th spot, I don't think. And um, we're going to run out of fuel in any second now. And uh, there we go. And that's everything. Everything wrecked that we just worked for like mad. Wow. Okay. 18th and 20th spots, isn't it? Absolutely sad uh, about that one. But uh, wait a second. He's out of fuel and... Oh my god. He he ran out of fuel an entire lap early. <laughs> yeah. So I, I kind of thought this was the more risky strategy, which... I mean, honestly, it was. Right. I think with Anthony here, and that was more my hope, that Anthony was going to do fine, because like, when I saw how the fuel played out, I kind of knew that uh, we were going to have some issues with Gomez. But with Anthony, I was really hopeful that we could at least hit our, sponsorship, uh, uh, our sponsor's objective, or at least come very close to it. But with that 45 second repair time, I mean like, oh god, okay. Yeah, well, uh, unfortunately not too much that we could do about that there then. Um, just goes to show that I think we will need to spend a lot more money and a lot more time on researching new parts, optimizing our parts and all that stuff. Now we've got this little um, scrutineering thingy uh, here where they just look if we had any overall breaking parts, which we don't have any risk of having that. And uh, well, that was kind of that. And uh, ninth spot in the team's championship, so still not too great there. Still not the last one, so... Better than nothing, I suppose, but, uh, yeah, okay, well, that's gonna be that, unfortunately, um, not, not too successful of a race, okay, it's from Spacefish Racing, oh wait, that was kind of regarding the training a bit more, wasn't it, so yeah, not really too happy with that training right there, uh, with that training, with that race right there, rather, so, um, definitely gonna have to work some more on, like, Getting the team somewhere up to snuff, because this uh, is it's not where we can stay. Um, firstly, reliability of those parts was like crazy. I'm not sure if I had any developments potentially pre-race uh, and kind of uh, we're just not up to snuff yet with the reliability. Um, 
he just kind of lost points right there, which is crazy. He's apparently already starting to lose, uh, well, to lose, uh, not experience, but skills. Uh, lost a bit of money, obviously, because uh, as you guys know, we, we have, like, a bunch of money that we kind of need to carry through the season with. And, uh, well, we just need to kind of lower the amount that we lose each race, pretty much. That's the way that works out for us right now. So I'm um, saving here real quick, and there we go. Bunch of mails. Let's check those out first. Car condition update. Oh. Her average car part condition dropped less even, and still an issue. Do you have a moment to answer a question for XBC Sport? I'm not sure I want that interview after a disastrous race like that. I don't think so, honestly. Let's reject that, because like that can actually end up being bad for us as well. Space. Written a quick report on the performance of our pit crew last weekend. Performed a total of three pit stops last race. Our fastest one was 16.997. 1.345. Uh, Mistake-free weekend. It's great news. Okay. Other than that, so yeah, I think our pit crew is honestly not doing too bad, but other than that, you know, ooh, race mechanic, yes, I remember, we had that contract negotiation, let's see what she wants, she wants more wages, everything, everything else he, uh, she's super happy with, so, I mean, that's honestly not too much more, okay, let's, let's just get it to max, honestly, I want a good, or actually, let's not get it to max, because she's still got some, uh, some patience left in her, so this is a very sad one. So maybe this one is a very happy one already. And then if, if she's not happy with that, we can always just go up to 74k as well. But let's try that for the time being. Don't need to overspend if we still uh, if we still have another try. So uh, let's let's go for this first. And then other than that, other than that, what else do we have going on here? Mm, status considering. Okay, so we had to. Was it both race mechanics or was one of them? No, I, I already had a new lead designer, so that's great. So, um, okay, cool. And that's all figured out, then. We have a new guy available for hire. We're going to shuffle these guys around eventually but, and kind of look towards that. But what I want to more focus on right now is... Ah, right. So these guys are firstly going to have to fix the cars, which makes sense. Car repair complete. There we go. Done. Okay, now we can look back at this. And why did these... Is that Faith Anthony? Oh, wow. Okay, so it's just like the standard gearbox of hers being a bit worse, pretty much. And then we have the suspension. And I guess she's got the worst one there as well. Yeah, for wear. Okay. Wow. Alright, so the reliability on these new brakes is pretty good, I would say. So, I mean, let's get that off the list. Let's firstly improve the reliability on that gearbox and suspension a bit, because that just cost us so dearly right there. And then once that's going to be a bit better, I think we're going to focus on actually improving these brakes right there, which uh, I apparently gave faith. Okay, and we've got some brakes right here that we can improve for performance. Other than that, maybe we want to make some new parts too. Let's kind of check out what is going to be the next race. It's going to be Milan. So we want top speed, deceleration, high speed corner. So brakes, we just we just got a new set of brakes and we can focus on improving both sets of brakes for the time being. Engine though is going to cost us a lot of money, isn't it? We can develop one, but for 1.5 million, which is a big investment, it's going to take us a lot of time. Next race is in 23 days, so we would have it ready in time. I'm just not sure. Let's see. Fuel efficiency, reliability, or red zone? I mean, fuel efficiency is kind of a big point. Which would... Uh, which would mean that we could either take on less fuel and be faster that way. Or um, just just have more laps before we need to go in compared to others. So that's a, kind of a good thing, but like for performance, I'm really not a fan. It's like, yeah. Until he actually unlocks the good things. Which I think actually... Ah, wait, so we need to make one engine before we unlock the good things. Is it that way? Hmm... Okay, I mean, that that would be kind of crazy though, right? Spending about 3 mil in total on engine developments? Maybe it's something we should do. I'm really not quite sure on, but 
it's a lot of money guys it's a really big lot of money and then we've got the brace which we kind of could do a level two on right now uh so like deceleration and we could oh wow i'm trade off though i mean we can always bring the reliability back up so i guess that's an option and the performance of these brakes would be massive and brakes are an important part in the last in the next race and it would not cost us at, uh, by far as much as engines hmm tough choice really 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 tough choice i think let's make let's make the brakes we'll have another 16 days after that so maybe we can just develop a first engine as well it's going to be a lot of money spent but I would honestly kind of like to just push the development of the car by a lot right now. I think it's kind of necessary to go a bit harder on that one because, well, yeah, got a lot of issues right now still, as, as you guys could see right there. And what we've also got, obviously, is our factory right here, our, ha our headquarters, right? So I'm really not too sure if we don't want, like, another building eventually, like forecasting center, staff center and everything. I wouldn't care too much about just yet. But uh, what I'm kind of wondering about is stuff like um, R&D, right? So like brakes and uh, handling and like wind tunnels. Well, wind tunnels we probably don't need yet for wings. But, you know, uh, there's there's probably like a few more things. Telemetry, gearbox, you know, then test track for engine part development. All this good stuff um, is kind of locked behind upgrading like the factory or the design center. So... Oh, that's so so expensive though. It's so incredibly expensive. Um, what will we get here? So, days of heart design time, and we would unlock all that. And this one would be extra part improvement slots. Hmm. So like, <sighs> guys, I'm really not sure. That's a, that's a big investment, and I just don't know we have the money for that yet. We're like... We're losing a m kind of 800k each race, alright? How many races do we still have this season? Can I see that somewhere? Um, Calendar, maybe. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 races. So we will be losing another 16... 16 mil, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, right? Wait, no, what? <laughs> yeah, totally 16 mil. Isn't it 6.4 mil? I mean, that's... It's not too bad. That would mean that we would still have a lot of money left over. Then again, I don't know how my sponsorships are going to be developing. I'm going to be... Hmm... Do we want to do it? Because, like, we would have another 18 mil as to that calculation. If we would spend, like, 8 on, like, somewhat boosting the factory at least, right? We would still be missing a lot of stuff. And, like, we would by far not get that much out of it. So that's kind of what I'm worried about. But it would kind of start future-proofing it us a bit more. Because, like, in the future, let's do it. Oh, look at that. I love that it visually changes by a lot as well. So yeah, 20 weeks, it's going to take us a while. But I think that's just money that we need to spend to future-proof ourselves. Just to make sure, because like, this part development stuff, it's just going to slowly and gradually, with the money spent, just going to up the speed at which we can develop ourselves and our team. And while now it's a big investment that's not going to pay off instantly as like new parts and stuff do, I think overall, it's, uh, oh, contract offer accepted. Great stuff. But yeah, overall, I think it's kind of a pretty good um, decision. Oh, I can change. Okay, I can now vote on potential rule changes a few times a year, which is great. So uh, you guys are going to hopefully see that soon. And the contract's looking good. Let's get that thing signed. Great. So question being, who am I going to kick out? And she's kind of honestly the worst one. So, let me, well, yeah, that's kind of the thing, right? The question is, 
We've got Eve and I've got Becky. Becky is kind of worse than Eve right now, but she's got a lot more development potential compared to Eve. So I'm kind of wondering which one to now assign to my primary and which one to assign to my secondary driver, because that's like eventually probably what it's going to be. I'm going to have one really good driver. I'm going to have one that's not as good. So not 100% sure on that one, honestly. Um, I am wondering. I am wondering very hard. Um, oh yeah, that's actually going to be a big factor, by the way. That's going to increase our pay per race costs by a bunch. So I should have probably taken that into account too. Who am I going to sign her on for? Um, guys, I I need advice. Oh no, wait. What did I do? I uh, I did something. Let's go back to the staff overview. I want to sign her on, but who for? I'm... I mean, the question is, how well are we going to be able to retain her too, obviously, but like... I think I'd sign her on for Victoria. Let's go for that. There we go. Good stuff. Hello, Becky. Welcome to the team. Hi, Space. Brilliant to have joined you here at Space Fish Racing. <laughs> Looking forward to getting to work and improving the car. Kitikawa is Gomez, a new race engineer. Wait, Gomez. Gomez is in that slot of the team, is he? Interesting. Okay. Well, cool. One way or another, uh, that means that we have a new race engineer, and that's hopefully going to help us out a bunch with all the other stuff. Now, we've got the car stuff here. Improving parts, I think the suspension, nah, it's not quite as good as I would want it yet, so let's uh, just give it like a day or two. We've got Eve here as well now coming in, and uh, she wants to renegotiate, so let's do that. She's okay. Wow. Okay, so I guess we're going to have to up the sign-on fee a bit, up the wages, and I'll, uh, I'll hope that you're going to be happy with that, because I'm not going to give you more, like... Am I gonna give you? I'm gonna give you that just to make sure that we're actually gonna get her because like she's a good race mechanic. So, uh, and I want to improve on that, so I'm gonna be willing to spend that money on good people. All right, and uh, then improve parts. Let's check back at this. Okay, so this thing we can take off the list, I think. Oh, then we then we have this random race event right here. So let's get through that real quick. Done. And uh, back to the car, back to improved parts, 73%, I think that's something that I'm somewhat happy with. I think that's pretty good. We are developing new brakes, so I'm not going to focus on pushing the performance of these brakes right here. I am instead going to focus on improving the performance of those brakes right there. And uh, these engines could need some performance improvements too, but I don't think we have got the time for that right now. So the brakes are going to be the focus, and then when the new brakes are going to be here, we're going to focus entirely on improving the performance of those new brakes. But uh, there they go. Okay. And uh, brake build finished. Yeah, reliability 20%. That's kind of the big issue right there. Um, we can now fit them to one of the cars. Yes, and they can be pushed up to 82 performance, which is great. Cars, though. Let's, uh, let's fit the parts. Let's... Um, Fit him to this guy's car, because, like, she got the first nice car, uh, nice break. So, doing that then, and uh, now I think it's kind of the focus going to have to be to improve the reliability of these things, because that's probably going to take us a while. So, let's do just that 100%. Um, push through on that. Hopefully, three per day, 21 days after race. So, that's going to. We're going to have to see if these are going to be done for the race or if we're going to have to do new stuff. And we got another 16 mil, and I want to push the car a bit further. So let's go for the engine, I think. We're going to have a first one that's going to go into Gomez's car, and we're going to have a second one with, like, I think we are going to choose... I think we're going to choose that one, probably, aren't we? 40 more max speed. That's going to be, that's going to be a big improvement. So uh, let's go for that just like that and hopefully we can somewhat financially sustain ourselves i need to kind of pay attention not to overdo it but i think for the time being it's um honestly hopefully somewhat fine also interview about potential dubai gp 
Okay, accept. All about Dumai. I'd love to see... I, I think it will be cool to see Dubai. Another race is always great. Can you say for certain that addition will be good for you there? It's... Okay, let's just do the middle answer. Cool. Does that kind of have any impact? It doesn't look like it. All right. So there we go then. Continue right there. And, uh, oh, like a little meal right there. Contract proposal is going to come up in a second, but I just got pause for something else. Oh, okay, yeah, so the meeting is going to be soon, apparently. I'm not quite sure what this just got paused for, though. Oh, look at that. We just jumped so much in the break performance, don't we? That's crazy. That's actually pretty crazy. That's great. I mean, just kind of shows that we're going the right direction, hopefully. Now let me actually check out the improved parts process. 29% reliability, though. Oh, God. I'm, uh, yeah, kind of worried. <laughs> uh, we'll have to see if we can get that done in time. We are going to get a new... Yes! We're going to get a new race mechanic right here. That's hopefully going to help doing that a bit faster. But, uh... Yeah, let's see about that one. So, continue to finance this. Confirm. And there we go. Good stuff. Cool. That's our two new race mechanics. Now let's check back at this stuff. So yeah, she is, I think, gonna do it a bit faster for us, but not that much faster. So, oh boy. Let's see. Let's see. Um, Space Fish Racing. Yep. Good stuff. We've got the new mechanic right there. We've got a politics vote right here. But I think, guys, that this politics vote is going to have to wait until the next episode, unfortunately. So I do hope that you guys enjoyed this one. I hope that you guys think that we're going the right direction. Uh, I think so far we are kind of doing all right. Um, I'm really going to have to look into finances and not overdoing it on that side of things. Hopefully, uh, whenever we get like this sponsor off the list, we can also get a new one with a nice like signing on fee and maybe like some more payments because we are obviously still very much sat at tier one sponsors. So hopefully as we get more reputation right there, we can get better fixed payment sponsors as well and kind of just up our finance capabilities a bit to kind of be able to push a bit more money into the whole teams and cars development. But for the time being, as I said, guys, this is going to be it for this episode. So I do hope that you guys enjoy yourselves. And if you do, please make sure to hit that like button down below. That does always very much help out the channel. And if you're new around here, like what you see and would like to stay around for more, please consider hitting that subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it to stay up to date on all my future upcoming episodes. And with that said, guys, as always, I would like to thank you all very much for watching. I hope you all have a great day and I hope you'll see you in the next one. Ciao. Thank you.